Obesity may be the most frequent chronic disease that we have in front of us. It's the lifestyle that we've come, that's become prevalent. People all the time looking at screens, whether it's the television or the computer or your PDA. CDC TV presents Health Matters. Obesity may be the most frequent chronic disease that we have in front of us. And it's important because it's a major contributor to other diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It's the lifestyle that we've come, that's become prevalent. Um, the lifestyle of uh, eat quickly, maybe not stop and look to see what you're eating, grab something on the go. There's technological advancements. People are all the time looking at screens, whether it's the television or the computer or your PDA. I know I used to eat probably three, four, five thousand calories a day. Didn't even know I was eating. We're eating a lot of the wrong foods and too much of the wrong foods, and we're not moving as much as we should be. Weight is a result of caloric balance. If we eat more calories than we use, we gain weight. If we eat less calories than we use, we lose weight. We know that eating lots of fruits and vegetables um, is the healthy way to start. Whole grains, uh, beans, lean meat, poultry, nuts fat-free or low-fat dairy products, all these together will lead you to a healthier diet. Keeping fresh fruits and veggies available really has changed my life. Read the nutrition facts label. This will let you know how many calories are in your food. Planning meals a couple days in advance can save you both time, money, and leave you with a healthier menu overall. The best fluid is water. We don't need the extra calories that come from sugar-sweetened beverages like soda or 10% juice. The prevalence of overweight and obesity has tripled in our children. I want to live to see her graduate and have children. And if they see, you know, dad exercising and eating healthy, um, I think they have a much higher chance of going that route themselves. Well, physical activity is really good for prevention of weight gain. And it's also good for weight loss if you adjust the calories that you eat accordingly. The minimum level of physical activity to get health benefits is 150 minutes of at least moderate intensity physical activity a week. When I started, I just added 15 minutes of walking three times a week. You can start low, you can go slow to try and achieve the 150. You don't have to achieve it all in one day. In fact, as little as 5 to 10 percent weight loss uh, over time can uh, really reduce the risk for heart disease and, and high cholesterol and high blood pressure um, and even diabetes as well. Just a renewed sense of energy just in my day-to-day my -day life, ability to keep up with my kids. We think it's important to maintain a good balance. Uh, we start thinking it starts inside the house. Uh, no junk food, no uh, TV games, electronic games in the house. We play outside a lot. My wife and I participate when we can. I think it's important to set a good example. My mind is sharper. Every which way you can think of, my life is better. Many Americans step on a scale daily or weekly to see how their weight is doing, but we also need to think about that balance in choosing foods and activity. And the only way you're going to want to do it is to feel good about yourself. Weight loss is a decision that only individuals can make. And the types of decisions that we hope they make are ones which are permanent changes in lifestyle. I'm feeling the difference. I'm seeing the difference. We need to invest in changes in our communities as well as changes in behaviors.